Okay, this is the first simulation in a sequence of simulations that in its totality should show the breadth and depth of my computer simulation application. Um, I will attempt to describe in detail the functionality of this application and the reason that I developed it. However, it is quite extensive, it's an enterprise level application and to do so would take probably a one or two hour length movie to just explain the whys and wherefores of this application. So, I will explain as much as I can about the application as we progress through the simulations. Uh, as you can see below, the name of the application is a visual interactive simulation application for minimizing risk and improving outbound logistical efficiency in time-sensitive home deliveries and services. Um, that title is about as explanatory as it could get um, in so many words. I developed this application as part of my um, dissertation, <coughs> excuse me, for my PhD degree at the University of Florida. Um, and essentially what it does, it attempts to solve a thorny problem that's encountered by logistics firms and supply chain firms <coughs> in that to deliver to a population that's calling in orders for services and or products that have to be delivered within certain time windows and to actually deliver in those time windows and to make a profit while doing so is a quite um, difficult problem to solve. So essentially that encapsulates the purpose of the application. And as I mentioned, um, it should become clear as we progress through the simulations how this simulation dash operational front end application um, will do that. Uh, briefly, it has taken me above and beyond the research that I did to find out the necessity for this type of application um, for my dissertation, about 1,000 hours to program this application. And it is now at the end of its first phase and ready to go into its next phase. And we will talk about that later. Anyway, let's look at the um, interface of this application. What we have here is an amalgamation of hexagonal shaped regions, um, which together makes an arbitrary sort of key shaped uh, region in itself. Each of these regions, these hexagonal regions, has an alphanumeric name. This one here is named A2. This one is H. This is the, the locus of the activity that occurs in this application, in that this is where the only depot exists that sends out deliveries of services or goods to these other regions that radiate concentrically from the home region. What I mean by radiating concentrically is that we have A regions radiating from the H region, then beyond that there's B regions, then C regions, C1, C2, C3, C4, C5, C6, D regions that go from D1 around here to D9, D10, D11 to D12, to the outermost regions G1, G2, G3, and G4. What these are, besides identifying the regions, they show that the B regions are farther away uh, from the home regions than the A regions are, naturally, and the E regions are farther than the D regions. So geographically distant from the home region. What the zero below each of these alphanumeric names is, is the amount of orders that have yet been not delivered to the respective regions. So, as you can see, it says right down here that so far, naturally, the simulation has not even begun to be run yet, that there are zero orders that have not been delivered to a specific region. Um, if 
say region C1 generates five orders and three of those orders have been delivered, this will show a two in as much as two orders have not been delivered to region C1. What we have here, this legend is a heterochromatic legend that shows the color of the regions because these regions will change color in proportion to has to as many re, as many orders as the region will have generated up until that point now say if region D12 generated seven orders this region will be red in accordance with the red that shows between 6 and 10 orders have been generated for that particular region. Now, if 6 of the orders for region D12 have been delivered, and it is red because it has generated 10 orders, this number will be 4, showing that 4 orders have not been delivered yet, but it will stay red, and if it generated 1 order, one more order, and makes 11 orders, you see that it will turn yellow in accordance with this. Basically, what this does is show at a quick glance the most perform performing regions and the least performing regions and the interme intermediary performing regions as the simulations progress through time. All right. We'll go through these buttons as we uh, move through the simulations, but right now, we can designate each simulation to run between 1 and 30 days. So, we will run the first simulation for 2 days, and then we will choose the number of orders. We can choose anywhere between 10 and 10,000 orders to be generated by the simulation in the allotted amount of time. So let's just choose 50 orders to be generated by the amalgamation of regions in the two day time period. Please look up here to the upper left corner of the simulation as the simulation runs because it will show the time of the first simulation and the trucks that are in the field delivering to the respective regions and it will show the regions that the trucks are out in the field delivering to. Okay, we will run the project now. And as you can see, it's going rather quickly now that the so far there's three trucks that are dispatched to regions and you can see that the regions are turning blue in as in that they have delivered one of five regions. Look at region E1, there's one order has not been delivered yet. Region F3 has an order not been delivered yet. Um, all orders have been delivered to these regions. You can see region F3 has a truck in the field. You can see the two-day time period. We'll get back to that. What you're seeing now are the reports being generated, the data being generated for the reports. Okay. Um, we'll get back to this. Truck 2 is in the field, and we it's not showing the last door to place that time, but it will show it when we get back to this. Uh, we go to the report dashboard. Here it shows the simulation ran from 125.17, my time, to 127.17, exactly two days as specified. Um, now, this is a simulation chart that shows the amount of orders that are delivered to the respective reasons. There's many orders that have not generated any orders yet. Um, let's go to the residence report. What this does is show the address per region, the addresses per region, if there are more than one address, as you can see region B5 has generated three orders, the time that it was delivered to that address, the amount of the order, and the, the amount of the delivery to that address, the address itself, and the call is that the first call from region B5, the second call, the third call from region B5. Same with region T2 has, has three calls. Going down to, it shows region G2, and for some reason that region G3 is showing excessive duplication there. But regardless, 
Uh, let's go to the report dashboard really quick. Let's look at the delivery report. It shows a truck dispatched to whatever region. Um, this time set, the return time, and the round trip times. It shows that the three trucks are in the field. If we go to the main map, it shows three trucks in the field, as it shows in that delivery report, and it does indeed show the two-day duration for the simplistic simulation uh, that we have just run. What we'll do now is we're going to reset the regions to zero, which will clear out the data in the reports and get the application ready for this next simulation to run. The next video will be of the simulation number two. Thank you very much.